Good afternoon, welcome to Shooting for Scratch. My name's Pete and it is Friday the 30th of June 2017 and I'm down here at the wonderful, the superb Eton Golf Club where I'm currently a member and I'm doing a ridiculous driver challenge. If there's a tree, I'm going over it. If there's a tiger line, I'm taking it. If there's a bunker or some water, I'm definitely going for it. Would I do this in competition? Hell no. Am I looking forward to this? Hell yes. Do I care if I lose a ball? Little bit. I'm using the new TP5, so I don't want to lose too many. But the point is, I am taking my driver on the back of my lesson with Dan the other day, just to give me a bit more confidence off the tees. Now, there is unfortunately a sensible reason for me doing this video. I've got my club championship coming up in just over a week's time. And I don't want to go into that competition feeling as if I've missed an opportunity to be aggressive off the tee because I don't know the limits of my driver on this course from the backs. Um, obviously any course is designed to be played from the backs and so therefore the bunkers, the ditches, the ponds, everything like that, they're all set up to catch out the longer drivers from the back tee. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity not only to have some fun but to also get a feel for which clubs I should be taking off which tees, where to be aggressive, where to be a bit more conservative and to map my way around the course and get a bit more course management going on. So guys, I hope you enjoy watching this as much as I'm going to have fun making it and I'll catch up with you later. Right guys, hole number one, par four, stroke index 12, 384 yards. Pretty simple hole, dead straight, everything runs down to the right. Ideal shot would be a slight cut from the left hand side of the fairway. You've got a bunker on the right at 230 yards and one a bit further on at 270. So let the fun and games commence. In competition, I'd probably take a three wood or even a four iron off the tee just to get away safely, but not today. So, a mediocre but safe start on the first, and on to hole number two. Par four, stroke index eight, 394 yards. Bunker up there on the left hand side at 275 yards, so the perfect distance to eat my ball with a driver. Let's do it. Par 4, 423 yards, stroke index 2. And over on the right hand side here, we have some water which is carryable with about sort of 220, something like that. And then there's a bunker further down which again is at about 280 yards. Out of bounds all along the left hand side, so really it's down the middle with a little bit of fade to set you up for a nice iron into the green. So let's grip it and rip it. Brought to you in conjunction with Shot Tracer Technology. Sorry. Driver video. Hitting my driver as far as I possibly can. Even on holes where it is stupid and ridiculous, quite frankly, to do so. Fifth hole. Par five, stroke index six, 505 yards. We've got two bunkers on the right hand side of the fairway over here at about 270 and one over on the left at about 290. So the idea is obviously to then hit between the two. So are we going to try and take it tight on the right hand side, see if we can carry those? Of course we are. So another thing I wanted to mention was on the 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th of July I'm taking part in the Lancashire Classic Tour and on the 3rd we're playing at Penwortham, the 4th we're playing at Fairhaven, 5th is Preston, 6th is St Anne's Old Links. I think 
think those are the right order. Um, I'm going to be teeing off at about two o'clock every day, so of course if anybody who's watching this fancies coming down and saying hello, maybe walking around and supporting, I don't expect anyone will. But if you do, it would be really, really fantastic to see you there and put some faces to some names. A seventh hole, par four, stroke index 10, 326 yards. So, on paper, this is not a driver. This is the first of the absolutely ridiculous holes. This tree right here, 160 yards. Then you've got fairway clear to the right, which runs out at about 280. You've got water on the right-hand side here, which starts at 215. Everything else, because it doglegs slightly around to the left, and if you can just see through the gap, You've got the green there at about a three, 10 yard carry, and you've got two bunkers in between it. This is a four iron all day long into that bit of fairway, just to the right of the tree, giving you about 120 yards into the green. You've got outer bounds all the way along the left as well. So of course, I'm going for it. Come on guys, got to get this on the green or somewhere near it. So we've cleared the first bunker and technically, ooh, it's not quite a fairway in regulation, it's just in the fringe, but you know what? That's about 20 yards shy of the green and no, I wouldn't do that in competition because there's just too much going on. If I pull it left, it's out of bounds. If I push it right, it's gone in the water or the crap. If I go dead straight, I mean, chances of running out of fairway um, are pretty good. It's quite receptive today. Um, and then that bunker just short of the green would swallow it up. But um, hello, hello driver, you're back. Eighth hole, par five, stroke index 18. Severe dog leg to the left on the other side of this tree. Uh, there is fairway to the right and that is the safe option, but that leaves you with a very long second and a layup. If you take on the tree, you can take off an awful lot of the hole. Now, there are bunkers on the other side of that tree at about 230, 240, something like that. You have to carry those to make the fairway. And we're slightly into the wind here, but today is the day where we're hitting ridiculous drives that you wouldn't take in competition. So let's get it over. In fact, do you know what? There's a little gap between the trees. That's what I'm going for. Right guys, the, uh, the weather has occurred in typical British summertime fashion. Within a hole, the clouds have congealed. The rain has started to, uh, to come down in that really fine mist that just gets you absolutely soaked. Um, I've got one and a half holes left to play to finish the front nine, so uh, I'm afraid that's going to be it for today. Ninth hole, par four, stroke index four, 437 yards. The fairway runs down into a slight dip and then everything runs off to the right where there is this little tree here which is at about 300 yards. Anywhere within 100 yards short of that and you're blocked out with a shot to the green. Nobody in their right mind would take a driver off this tee. It's a four iron or a five wood all day long just to give you the option of going for the green with the second. Right guys, I'm gonna end it here on the ninth green. I'm really sorry, I can't see a thing and my hands are slipping around all over the place on the grips. Um, I hope you enjoyed the format as much as I've enjoyed making it. Consider this a part one, I'll do a part two in the same style so that you can see the back nine at Eton. Actually, the back nine's better for driving, for the ridiculous drives. So um, it's a shame we couldn't do that today, but we've got that to look forward to. So please do subscribe and then you can see that video as soon as it comes out. Leave a comment 
comment in the comments section below, leave any questions that you've got, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, otherwise I very much look forward to seeing you in one of my next videos. Take care.